Uh, you miss. Uh, I've had this beautiful moment with um, with Buttercup, and uh, I thought I was filming it, and guess what? I hadn't pushed the button properly. So here we go again. This is Buttercup, the most beautiful goat in the world. She's she loves a rub, and she she likes chewing on my hair. And oh, look at this friendly one, hey? Isn't she pretty? Mm hmm. Yeah. Hey, hey. And that's pretty good, isn't it? Hey. And this little darling. Hey. Look, I was a person who thought goats are useless things. What's the use of a goat? But if you ever have a, uh, a goat, you'll change your mind. Yes, they're a pain in the neck. Touch, well, they're kids, just like your children, getting into mischief all the time. Lots of mischief, lots of mischief, lots of mischief. But we wouldn't get rid of our kids for quids, would we, eh? Why wouldn't we? Even though they're a pain in the butt. It's because they're adorable. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty fantastic. G'day. This herd of, herd of forklift starting up. Uh, this is Michael from O'Donnell's Aussie Homestead. Uh, this is a little different. I've broken, I've interrupted our, our segment for a news flash. Um, for a start, I hope the coronavirus is not bothering you. Um, I don't know. I'm probably a bit cynical. I just think it's all blown out of proportion. But, hey, at least we can't get, get it on YouTube. So uh, we can have our over 500 group meetings and uh, no one be hurt. So it's wonderful. Um, I should be, shouldn't be talking like that. There's people hurting from it. But I think it's mainly the elderly, and that's terrible because I've got one. So, uh, I've got a mum who's 86. Luckily, she um, doesn't go out of the house much, so she's pretty good. Um, right, the reason for my get, giving you this, talking to you. I have a thing about trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. It's To me, it's a benchmark. And um, whether or not you care about it, I like that. It, it, I like the, um, the gratification of growing something. I like the, uh, the, of meeting people. I actually love this YouTube. I, I didn't think I would as much as I have. I probably said this before, but yeah, you know what I mean. The, the people are much nicer on YouTube. Um, well, I know, for the most part. I just, yeah, if my messages from, from my subscribers is is out of this world. They are some of the nicest people. It's where they're putting their best foot forward. Who's to say? But I know that you can feel in the voice of most of the people I deal with. It's they're beautiful people. Anyway, moving on. The reason is this. Now I want to get to a thousand. Now I'm at just under 800, and it's a bit confusing because you know I've had I've I can actually see 20 people in the last two days have joined, but I've grown by one person. Now, either everybody's dropping out or YouTube sticking them in their pocket. I don't understand it. I, I know they're not doing that, but uh, befuddles me. So, what I would like to do is this. I don't want to do the norm. I like to do things a little bit different. And what I'm hoping from you is that um, instead of waiting around and hoping someone might give me a shout out and grow me quicker, I was hoping we could do it a different way. And this is the, this, this way. Could I please impose on you? Could you please just any friends or your group or whatever, just give us a shout out and um, say, come over. But the main thing is, if they do, could you please get them to tell me who you are, who, who did the shout out? I'd like to know because um, I want to return it twofold. I'll find a way, I'll make it up to you. I'm sorry for doing it this way, I just the way I think the easiest way. 
But why, why be shy? If you if you shy, you die. You you gotta just get up there and say what you feel. And so I'm just asking you, from the bottom of my heart, can we just give it a go? Hit this thing. Um, give us a real punch, and leave the, get the people to leave. I know I'm repeating it. Just get them to leave your um, drop your name, and uh, I'll put it all down. Who dropped my name, and I'll come back and. I might get up to you. And I'll get to have a little chat to you too. Uh, that would be all I wanted to say to you. I thank you very much. We get a lot of, uh, what do you call them? Like kites with motors on them. Like, I think we call them gyrocopters. No, not gyrocopters. Yeah, that's got a help blade on top. But um, just have a look somewhere. No, he's still out of sight. I don't know if you can hear him. But they come over here all the time. I felt like sending up a the drone and with a hi, how you going on it? But, but <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm just trying to put the stand back now, but it doesn't fall over. Because what's happened is my son wanted his stand, wanted my tripod uh, to do uh, some project at school. So I've got a little tiny one with got floppy legs, you know the ones, and I've sat them up on top of a pallet. See the use of a pallet again, and uh, it's working. So, okay. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. So please, if you can help me, it would be great, and I'll get it back to you. Thank you.